questions for Rob. So, Rob, you're a vegetarian. Um, I want to know if kale chips are bullshit. But one of my bartender friends says they're fantastic. Uh, she makes her own kale chips. You can buy them pre-made, but I think they're garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah. Uh, no, I know that recently you, you've been posting on Facebook a bunch of the vegetarian food that you've been making, and, and I've tried vegetarian recipes. We have a vegetarian cookbook with with little... So if... if okay, here's the question. Here's the real question. If I wanted to eat less meat, what would I... Where would you where would you say your number one resource is? Like I'm I'm your average carnivore and I wanna you know, I wanna eat less meat, but I have no idea where to start. Could you recommend like a cookbook or a YouTube yeah. channel or like So a huge fan of Thug Kitchen and Thug Kitchen 101. They're not super healthy, but they are really tasty. The one big thing about uh like veganism is in stages, right? Where Thug Kitchen's all about no meat, no dairy, no eggs, but they use a lot of oil and they use a lot of vegetarian junk foodie type things like uh, nutritional yeast, um, which I know is, is a sin for saying that it's bad, but it's not bad. It's just <laughs> high in calories. Um, so if you, if you want to just try it out, mm -hmm. uh, I recommend Thug Kitchen 101 because it's really a bunch of tasty stuff in there. Uh, if you're really serious about getting healthy with your nutrition, uh, the Forks Over Knives cookbook is probably the best place to go because it cuts out oils, and uh, which is a kind of a big thing in okay. some world. Okay. Um, so I have a question from Twitch, and they said, uh, what is the best vegan dish to eat alongside children? Note, not with children, where children are a side dish, but just... Uh, with kids, and I know this might not be 100, like, if you have any suggestion, like, what's the, it doesn't have to be kid safe, but it could be like, you know, maybe you're vehemently for eating things that used to have faces, but you're like, I guess I could get down with eating this vegetarian thing. There's this really great dish, uh, and I know this is not super kid-friendly, but you cook out the alcohol. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a skillet beer chili. Uh, I can, it, it's Basically, you're uh, you're sautéing uh, carrots and onions in your pan with olive oil, and then you add some veggie broth, and you add uh, what else? A nutritional yeast, and you do well. That's later, but anyway, so you get this big mix, and you add your oh, I know what it was: tomato paste and chili powder and cayenne and some other stuff. Then you dump your uh, your veggie broth in, and then you dump your your noodles in. You cook the noodles for about 13 minutes until they get soft, until they're just, just right. You dump in your nutritional yeast on top of that, and it's this big skillet, mac and cheese, fake cheese dish. Everyone <laughs> should love it. Really good. It's really awesome. Okay. Um, and if you really like it crazy, Field Roast makes this brutal chipotle sausage. Chop that bastard up and put it in there. You'll come to my house and give me a kiss right in the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh we got another question is vegetarian how is vegetarian bacon or is it a lie uh there is only one vegetarian bacon that i found that was actually pretty good and i think it was by light light no it wasn't light life it was anyway there was this really really good thing but it had so much salt in, in inside i thought my heart was gonna leave my chest <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was super tasty i better stay away from that then okay okay um so on to the next question i know obviously everybody knows you listen to a ton of metal um and i see your music recommendations all the time i'm a person who i, I thought that i enjoyed me I, I i my knowledge of metal is just like this fucking speck on an iceberg, right? So if 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 you want to get inspired, what metal and I guess it doesn't have to be metal, it could be anything, but I'm just assuming that it's metal based off of, you know, reading your work. Um what's either either an album or an artist or, you know, something that really gets you going where you're like it makes you want to write or it makes you want to crank out ideas, whatever it is. Like what what metal inspires you? 
Uh, right now, um, and this may not, this mileage will vary for sure. Uh, Behemoth is my big inspiration band. They are a Polish black metal, death metal band. Uh, their last one was uh, The Satanist, and it was exceptional. I saw them tour that that album, um, and it is just a rejection of authority and the yeah it, it's it's a solid solid album and pretty much and for me really anything that kind of and especially for because i'm not working for big companies really anymore uh mm-hmm. anything that kind of inspires me to to rebel and to fight against the status quo that is the saccharine versions of D D that or whatever role-playing games come out that are just kind of milk toast right. i want to fight against that I look for, and for my inspiration, I look for, not to say that those things are bad. Please don't take Right, right, right. No, no, no. But, you know, I, I've written descriptions for elves enough times that I never really want to do it again. <laughs> uh, but the point is, is that when I want to kind of rebel and fight back against what's out there, uh, deeply dark and evil music is great. <laughs> Mayhem, Behemoth. Yeah. All right. Uh, man, there was some Polish band. Speaking of Polish black metal band, there's a Polish band, and they're like Ghost. And they're these dudes in these like cultist robes and shit, and I, I, I came across them the other day, and now I can't think of the name, because it was like super Polish, and I probably wouldn't even pronounce it right if I remembered oh, it. Yeah, I think I don't even know who you're talking about, but I can't think of it either. You know what you might like, though, is In Solitude, uh, they're an evil band, but they're also clean vocals. Um, and for the kids at home, <laughs> just released a new album uh, called, let me get the album out here. It is uh, Cruel Magic. Right here, kids. That's the new Satan album. You want it. <laughs> There's a band it's called not, Satan. All right. <laughs> it's not really as hard as that uh, uh, makes out to be. It's It's kind of... You know, it's all right. Uh, it's bugging me. Pull. Oh, it's called Batushka. That's Batushka. the band. Batushka. Um, okay. So one one more thing while we're on the topic of uh, consuming media and inspiration. Um, I know that we've had some back and forth about movies, but like, what are your what are your current movies that you watch and you're like, fuck yeah, this is like. I should write an adventure like this, or I should base something off of this because it's so good. Hereditary. <laughs> hereditary. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about Hereditary. For okay, a second. okay, let's talk that about Hereditary. Movie is fucking perfect. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it is perfect from start to finish. Okay, there's going to be might be a little spoiler conversation here for people in chat, but there is so many coincidences that just happen. It seems like the cult was just like, oh, uh, her head flew off. We'll just adapt everything else we do later to, to that. Like, no, man, the cult was orchestrating the entire how, thing. How they're, they, they're not even protagonists. They're just victims from the moment the movie opens. Grandma right. dies. Oh, <laughs> Grandma! From Earthful Fate, you got that kind of shit going on. Or actually, King Diamond. But it, they're just victims the whole time. It's a slow deconstruction of the family until they get their prize, which Oof. is the young man who becomes Paimon. So, <laughs> okay. So awesome. <laughs> but how did they, I mean, how did they pull off like, all right, she's going to eat the cake with the peanuts. She's going to, her throat's going to start closing. He's yeah. going to rush her to the hospital. There's going to be a deer in the road. He's going to swerve. She's going to hit her head on that light pole. And I like, I get it because they show the fucking seal of Paimon on the light pole, but it's like, How? So yeah. my my thing is that we don't. Who cares, it's really? Not, I mean, it wasn't I, for one viewing. It wasn't possible for me to see all of the cultists and do a full right a full roster call of all the cultists who showed up at Grandma's funeral. But I'd be willing to bet there was at least one of those assholes at the fucking party. First of all, <laughs> second of all, if you can buy chick hanging in the air and sawing off her own neck. <laughs> you can buy little girl taking her own head off by sticking her dumbass head out the window 
Didn't even the dead milkman tell you to keep your hands and arms inside of the bus? <laughs> Don't you know what happened to Stewart? <laughs> it just, it just like at every moment, it felt like this is just an amazing coincidence that's happening. I mean, fair enough. But I just, I, I just saw it as this is a well-oiled machine who has been playing for probably a hundred years or longer. Right. Bring about it, it was. The rebirth of Paimon into the world. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the cult had their twelve-step program to get Paimon in. <laughs> at this point, have a dying in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, love so it. hereditary, love it. Um, any anything else? I watched the death of Stalin last night. That was fun. The death of Stalin. Okay. What kind of movie is that? Yeah, uh, it's literally uh, Stalin dying. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's Steve Buscemi and a bunch of other and Tambor uh, about um, the transition of power from Stalin to Khrushchev. It's a dark comedy uh, and it gives you. It's really not funny at all. It's really kind of depressing. But uh, if you like Death the Smoochie, you'll like this. Okay. You remember that movie, Death the Smoochie? Uh, it was okay. <laughs> I've never seen Death to Smoochie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. What? Oh. Angela, you've seen Death to she, she, My wife's like, what? All right. Um, okay, so qu- see, here I got some quick ones for you. Rob, what's your favorite apocalypse? Your favorite version of the end of the world? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, blah. you know, I kind of like the flood. The flood story, it, it, it's everywhere. Lots of water probably refers to the Mediterranean Sea because uh, it's a lot of fun, though, because it, it shows up everywhere in every major Western myth. So that's probably my favorite. The other one is uh, uh, death by um, overeating chocolate. <laughs> not been written yet but it's gonna happen that uh or the stuff that would be a close close approximation to it okay um next 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 question does pineapple belong on pizza um boy i'm gonna piss off somebody no matter what i say (laughs) yeah there's no winning answer for that (laughs) i have eaten pineapple on pizza i could take it or leave it Okay. So, so you're indifferent to it? So you'll piss off both sides, basically. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Way to go. Hey, man. That's what I do. All right, Rob. We know that you have seven cats. Um, I want to know... Well, first of all, we need to know their names, but since your cats are like your children, and since this is a question you're not supposed to ask anybody, which one's your favorite? You got it. All right. So we have uh, Sausage Hot Pie... P Funk Double Cat. <laughs> uh, we have Agatha. We have Nugget, Ruby, and Gigi Allen. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the constellation of cats, which one of my favorite, really depends on my particular mood. <laughs> Would I like to be bitten and and someone kneading on my 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 ample man swell? Uh, I would probably say that that would be Gigi Allen. Uh, when I want to be, when I want to bleed, cat is uh, P Funk Devil Cat because she's an asshole. Uh, <laughs> when I want to just kind of look at this slow fading of life, and as it's embodied by a 16 year old cat, uh, sausage and hot pie kind of take the top prize. When I like, uh, when I want to feel affection for. Kind of a genuinely stupid cat. Uh, Nugget takes the prize. And then Ruby's just pure aggression and excitement. And the fact that she's she looks like an Ewok, if I could just fit a little hood thing over her shoulders, she would be she would she would be helping Princess Leia do the tango. Yeah, so I don't know. I can't pick a favorite, but they're all assholes. <laughs> Cats. So, sounds like cats. Yeah. Um, all right. 
So we're gonna give you give you the dark one before I give you the the easy breezy. So uh, my last serious question: If you had to pick an album to die to, like you're on a fucking burning pirate ship, or, or you you know that you are propelling yourself forward into your own certain death, whether it's heroic or tragic, what would you want blaring at that time? What album? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Hang on one second. I have to look this bastard up. Um, no, I know it. I don't have to look it up. I know it. I don't have to look it up. You know who it is? Who? It's Slayer. Rain and Blood. Slayer's Rain and Blood. Because I, I don't want expo- to want it to, to, to make death last longer than 34 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. Um, okay. I could have said, like, you know, I want In a God. <laughs> let that play out for like three years, but no, that would, that would probably drive me. <laughs> uh, all right. Last question Who's your favorite Spice Girl? Oh, um... <laughs> see, this was the harder question. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Whichever Spice Girl has the brown hair. What's her name? I don't know. Which is the Spice Girl with the brown hair? Angela knows. There are like three with brown hair. Oh, she says there's three, so you have to be specific. I'm, work, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, we need... Uh... The one that managed to marry the soccer person? Malted Spice? Can we go with Malted Spice? <laughs> Spice like drum. <laughs> uh, is that is that? Rob's going with malted spice. Yeah, malted spice for two hundred, Alex. Malted spice for two hundred. All right. She's like the extra beetle. <laughs> oh, Victoria Beckham. Yeah, whatever she was. Victoria Beckham. Posh spice. <laughs> You know, your Wikipedia says that she's a singer, a businesswoman, and fashion designer and model. That's a good, well-rounded career. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, yeah. um, guys, on. I'm going to put up the uh, we'll be right back screen while I diagnose our technical difficulties. And when we come back, we will have two people join us, and we will play a little, a little session of Demon Lord, if everybody is uh, still on board with that. The hell? Sorry. I'm looking at Babushka. <laughs> <laughs> Babush- Isn't Babushka a furry hat? I don't know. <laughs> Hold tight. Babushka. Batushka. This band looks great. All right. So I'm going to put that in my list of shit to listen to tomorrow. All right, and I'm going to put us on uh, hold, you guys. I'll be right back. Uh, We're going to go into a BRB status. When we come back, we will have some Demon Lord to play. Hail Satan. 